human species have always been conscious of the natural world. Of nature with its rich and varied patterns of life form. Our planet is home to a wide variety of life forms. There are millions of species of living organisms. This spectacular variety of life is a result of billions of years of evolution. Life exists everywhere on earth, out in the open sea, on the vast ocean floor. Even in the ice caps, think of the driest of deserts and life exists there too. All these places have different environment, yet each of them acts like a habitat for one or the other living organism. Now, let's explore some of these habitats and find out if there are differences in the types of living organisms present there. This is the rainforest. We find an abundance of plant and animal life here. The trees here are as tall as 30 to 40 meters and have an umbrella-like canopy. There are woody climbers that grow profusely on the trees. Animals found here are mainly birds, frogs and snakes. What a wide variety of living organisms exists in a rainforest. Over half of the world's plant and animal life inhabits here. And now, let us look at another habitat, a desert. It looks so lifeless, with hardly any huge tree. There is only a low herb or shrub cover. Trees are small in height. Cacti and scullins are dominant. Animals such as camel, rats and reptiles are abundantly found. Do you think we would find variety and diversity in the aquatic bodies also? The corals, the sea anemones and jellyfish also live in the oceans. So do the skates and rays which swim along and cover long distances. But why are coral reefs considered as most diverse of marine ecosystem? This is because it provides habitat to other species, has a very diverse collection of algal and animal species. Let's now look for diversity in the pond. Here, the vegetation is mainly on the surface of water. The free-floating microscopic form, the phytoplankton. Other plants are the submerged aquatic plants which are few in number. The animals seen here are fishes, frogs and few water insects. Biodiversity is present at the microscopic level also. Let us see it ourselves. This bottle contains pond water. Take a clean slide. Put a drop of pond water on the slide. 
Stain it by adding a drop of methylene blue to it. Let's see under a microscope. It shows a number of microscopic and most diverse life forms such as algae, diatoms, larvae or eggs of water, insects, etc. There is an enormous variety of living organisms existing right from the rainforests to a drop of pond water. Each living organism thrives well in a particular kind of environment. The various species of an environment are interlinked through food chains. Plants use sunlight and water by a process called photosynthesis to produce energy and are rightly called producers. Animals and humans get food by consuming plants and other animals and are therefore termed consumers in return. They also produce carbon dioxide. The chain that links a consumer to producers is the food chain. So, all life on earth is linked and interdependent of each other through this relationship. In each environment, species best adapted to that environment are predominant. The variety of living organisms existing on earth, their interrelationships and their relationship with environment are referred to by the term biodiversity, short for biological diversity. Our planet is home to a wide variety of living organisms, each one valuable in its own way and holding benefits for humanity. We, the human beings, depend upon biodiversity for almost every aspect of our lives. From the air we breathe to our basic needs such as housing, food and medicine. And also to enrich our lives culturally or spiritually. Biodiversity provides the vast majority of our food stock. Fish and terrestrial animals supply an array of food products, meat, eggs, milk, which are rich sources of protein. One third of all plants species provide edible fruits, tubers, root, nuts, etc. These provide us with sugars and are thus sources of energy. The large variety of cereal grains, dals are important constituents of our diet. Many medicines that we consume are products of plant species. Aspirin was originally extracted from the bark of the willow tree. The medicinal importance of biodiversity is particularly impressive considering that only a tiny fraction of earth species has been thoroughly investigated for medicinal properties. Plants provide fiber for cotton and jute clothes.
animals provide wool. and also silk for clothes. When we want to build our shelters, various plant species offer us building material. Biodiversity offers us more than just food, shelter and healthcare products. Plant species help to maintain the air quality. They purify the air and recycle vital oxygen. Do you know that most of the world's supply of oxygen is provided by single-celled microscopic plants floating on the surface of the oceans supplemented by terrestrial plants? transpire to give out a tremendous amount of water and bring about stabilization in climate by controlling the water cycle. The roots of trees prevent soil erosion. The animal and microbial species play a key role in maintaining soil quality. A variety of insects, birds and fungi help in controlling 99% of potential crop pests. These natural pesticides are superior to their artificial equivalents since pests can often develop resistance to chemical pesticides. Many animal species help in plant reproduction through transportation of pollen and dispersal of seeds. Much of humanity's food crops depend upon the natural process of pollination. Survival of wild varieties of plants is extremely important as variety in the plants helps us to maintain genetic resources for crop improvement. These wild varieties offer resistance to the pests and diseases that pose an ever-evolving threat to agricultural crops. Human beings derive aesthetic and spiritual satisfaction from biodiversity. For most urbanites, simple walk in the woods gives a calm sense of pure joy. The umbilical bond between humanity and biodiversity is reflected in the art, religions and traditions of diverse human cultures. The survival of humanity is dependent on biodiversity. Therefore, the rich biodiversity must be appreciated, valued and preserved at all costs.